The eukaryotic cell cycle is tightly controlled by a small number of cyclin-dependent protein kinase complexes, CDK complexes for short. In early G1, DNA pre-replication complexes are dephosphorylated and they assemble onto chromosome replication origins. Later in G1, the G1 CDK complexes are synthesized. These kinases phosphorylate and activate certain transcription factors. One target of these transcription factors are genes encoding components of the S phase CDK complex. At this point, S phase CDK function is blocked by a specific inhibitor. Near the start of S phase, a G1 CDK phosphorylates the inhibitor, targeting it for degradation. Release of S phase CDK activity marks the onset of S phase. S phase CDK complexes phosphorylate pre replication complexes, inducing one round of replication initiation. Each chromosome is replicated, forming two sister chromatids connected by cohesin molecules. Mitotic CDK complexes are made during S phase and G2, but their activities are inhibited until DNA synthesis is complete. Activation of mitotic CDK complexes begins M phase. These CDKs phosphorylate multiple substrates, resulting in the first steps of mitosis. Next, the anaphase promoting complex, or APC, is activated. The APC targets cohesin regulators for degradation, allowing segregation of sister chromatids. Subsequently, APC also degrades mitotic CDK complexes, resulting in the final mitotic events. With cytokinesis, the cycle is complete.